There's that call out that the landing burn has begun on first stage. And it looks like we have a live view Day of the drone ship. Flag deploy. Touchdown of Falcon 9. And through the cheering, we also heard that call out for Seco 1, which is great news. Our booster landing today marks our 101st overall successful recovery of a first stage. And and 134th successful flight of a Falcon 9 first stage. We also heard nominal orbital insertion for stage two. So with that call out, Expect next up. Loss of signal, Cape. Next up will be payload deploy of our 49 Starlink satellites. Now today's launch marks the Expected first. Loss of signal, Bermuda. Today's launch marks the first East Coast launch to a 53 degree south inclination. We're flying in the south degree trajectory to increase recovery weather availability for both the booster and fairing halves during the winter months. Now we are waiting for the deployment of our 49 Starlink satellites, which is scheduled to occur about six minutes from now. But as I mentioned, we won't have live audio or visual confirmation of payload deployment due to the lack of ground station coverage. We will acquire signal with our ground station in Kodiak, Alaska at T plus one hour and 20 minutes. So for those of you interested, we will keep the audio only countdown nets up on our YouTube channel and we'll confirm successful payload deployment on our social channels. Now with that, we'll be bringing our webcast to a close for today. Thank you for joining us for the first launch of 2022 and our 35th launch of Starlink to date. A big thank you to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. If you're interested in signing up for Starlink service, head over to Starlink.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.